The brand new Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to the channel. If you are new here guys, in fact, first of all, if you're not new here guys, I'd like to wholeheartedly thank you very much for watching the channel. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and thank you so much for enjoying and watching the content. If you are new here guys, don't be afraid to consider hitting that subscribe button. That way, the people who've subscribed will tell you you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, we are talking the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. This is the low spin option of Callaway's new offering for 2020. We've just finished a review on the Callaway Maverick, so if you want to see that, make sure you go and watch that. And I'm also doing a review on the Callaway Maverick Max, so if you want to go and watch that, go and watch that. Also, there's obviously going to be a comparison, so you need to watch that. So guys, I am going to refer to my review of the Callaway Maverick quite a lot in this video, so if you haven't watched that, you might want to go and watch it. If you haven't watched it, don't worry too much, I will try. I'm going to try and make you feel right at home. So first things first, the name. So the name and the colour aren't something that I'm overly fond of, as I did refer to in my standard review of the standard, well it wasn't a standard review, it was of the standard Callaway Maverick. Apart from that, it was hard not to be impressed with it, and it's hard not to be impressed with this as well, the Sub-Zero, the low spin, the model which players are going to game generally if they want that weight a little bit more forward, if they want that spin a little bit lower, if they want more knuckleballs. Like that. Oh, look at that. This is my first shot. First shot with the club. Sub 2000 spin, club speed 107.5, 278. Yes, please. You see, now I am generally a gamer of a lower spin model. I did use the TaylorMade M5 last year. I started with the weights for it. It didn't work too well, so I moved them back. And when I tested last year's Callaway Epic Flash, which is still a current model, this model does take over the Callaway Rogue. I did really enjoy the Sub-Zero version as well. So generally this should be right down my alleyway or in my ballpark or whichever comparison you'd like to use. That's the bad one. You see, and this is the one that worries me a little bit with a Sub-Zero model straight away off the bat. With the Callaway Maverick, I feel like I would have gotten away with that. This isn't the comparison video, but that's, um, but that's not ideal. It's Healy again. Ah! So interestingly, and as you would expect, there are a few differences with this driver than the standard driver, than the standard Maverick. The head is slightly smaller. The head's 450cc, as opposed to the limit of 460cc in the standard Maverick. We have the weight forward, and also the head shape's a lot more standard. It's a lot less, a lot less, a lot less Cyclone Aero technology, which, um, which is fine by me, really. Apart from the colour scheme, the head does look beautiful. I love the shape of it. I love how the light gleams off the triaxial carbon crown. Triaxial. 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 Tri triaxial. There we go. Better. A lot better. That's huge. That is, ma that is huge. That spinning at sub 2000, carrying over 270 yards, and I'm quite pleased with that. So we do have the triaxial carbon crown. We do have the brand new SS20 flash face, which is a much stronger titanium, should provide more ball speed, and it has required brand new face architecture from SS2S titanium, which is basically a lot stronger. So it means it's not going to break, unlike my knuckles. So for me, one of the big factors why I think I'm enjoying this driver so much and why I enjoyed the Maverick so much is the new sound. This driver does have a brand new internal rib structure for better acoustics, which again is designed by a supercomputer. Supercomputer? Primarily because there were a few complaints about the sound of the Callaway Epic Flash, which, let's be fair, I was one of them. That was really toey, really toey. So I think it's fair to say you definitely don't get the forgiveness element in the Maverick Sub-Zero that you do in the standard Maverick, but that's exactly what we should come to expect. This is a low spin model. This model isn't going to be for everyone. It isn't for the guy who wants that forgiveness. is isn't for the guy who misses the center of the face that often, um, but it is for the guy who's desperately trying to keep that spin rate down and wants to get that knuckleball out there into the fairway, hopefully. 
So guys, I'm going to hit two more shots with this Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. I want you to hit those comments below. What would you like to see me test this against in 2020? I have done the comparison with this and the standard Maverick, or that is coming soon as soon as we finish this test. And also we'll compare it with the Callaway Maverick Max. But what would you like to see? Would you like to see it against the Sim? Would you like to see it against the Sim Max? Would you like to see it against the new Mizuno, against the new Cobra? Another great year for drivers. Great year. That felt so good. I'm surprised that's not gone further, actually. It's funny because I have always battled to keep that spin rate down with my driver, but for this, I'm sort of thinking this might be spinning a little bit too low. But when we look at the numbers, I'll be really interested to see how it does compare to the standard Maverick, but also, also if I need a little bit more spin maybe to get the most out of a driver. No, we're fine, we're golden. That's gone left, but that's gone miles. Yes. So guys, that's 10 shots hit with the brand new Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. And how's it gone? How does it feel? How does it sound? How does it perform? Let's start with performance. So performance with the Maverick Sub-Zero, all where you would expect, we've got a couple in the 280s, a couple in the 270s, some 260s, and a couple of real bad ones, as you can see there. That's what would worry me generally with this club spin rates. There's a lot of spin rates that are beautiful numbers there. And again, I think that's probably going to take that one out because that is probably a misread, I would think. But really, an average spin of 2345, which with that number out is pretty impressive, isn't it? Distances 272, club head speed 17.1, and a ball speed of 156.4. So guys, there are the numbers for the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. Remember, there is a video coming with the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero, the Callaway Maverick, and the Callaway Maverick Max. So make sure you do stay tuned if you do want to see that. How do I feel like this test gone? How do I feel like this review has gone of the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero, the low spin option? I think it does exactly what it says on the tin. I think it goes out low spin. I'm looking up here because the numbers are still up there. I think it goes out low spin. I think it's very, very unforgiving. So you do need to be careful. If you miss the middle of the face quite often, if you're quite sporadic with your ball striking, just take heed in that. Make sure you do go and get fitted, obviously like you would do anyway. I personally, I'm not sure if this is the model I'd go for. You're gonna to have to wait and watch the comparison video because I've tested the other ones and I don't know, but I'm gonna give you a bit of a clue. I'm not sure on this one. I don't know if I've just maybe put a couple of bad swings on it there, which might have put me off a little bit, but for me, really like it, hate the name. Well, hate's a strong word. Really like it, not a fan of the name absolutely not a fan of the color but remember guys this is available in the custom shops you can have it in pretty much any color you want that's its saving grace for me that is if i had it in the bag which could do maybe one of them it would have to be the be the custom shop color which is fine i don't mind waiting for things things are generally worth waiting for aren't they guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed that if you have please make sure you do hit that like button also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and apart from that guys i suppose you could comment below and let me know which of the mavericks would be your favorite but aside from all those points, I very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow.